Pat's birthday on November 6th. Gets me thinking about a conversation I had with Pat before we joined the military. How once we committed, we were at the mercy of the American leadership and the American people. Much has happened since we handed over our voice. Somehow, we were sent to invade a nation because it was a direct threat to the American people, or to the world, or harbored terrorists, or was involved in the September 11th attacks, or received weapons-grade uranium from Niger, or had mobile weapons labs, or WMD, or to stop an insurgency, or to stop a civil war that we created that can't be called a civil war, even though it is. Somehow, our elected leaders were subverting international law and humanity by setting up secret prisons around the world, secretly kidnapping people, secretly holding them indefinitely, secretly not charging them with anything, secretly torturing them. Somehow, this overt policy of torture became the fault of a few bad apples in the military. Somehow, back at home, support for the soldiers and having a five-year-old kindergartner scribble pictures with crayons on a piece of paper and sending it overseas. It's interesting mm. that a soldier should care on his third or fourth tour about a drawing from a five-year-old as his friends die around him. Mm. Mm -hmm. Somehow, the more that soldiers die, the more legitimate the illegal invasion becomes. Somehow, those afraid to fight an illegal invasion decades ago are allowed to send soldiers to die for an illegal invasion they started. Somehow, faking character, virtue, and strength is tolerated. Somehow, profiting from tragedy and horror is tolerated. Somehow, the death of tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people is tolerated. Somehow, subversion of the Bill of Rights and the Constitution is tolerated. Somehow suspension of habeas corpus is supposed to keep us safe. Somehow torture is tolerated. Somehow lying is tolerated. Somehow reason is being discarded for faith, dogma, and nonsense. Somehow American leadership managed to create a more dangerous world. And somehow the same incompetent, narcissistic, virtuous, vacuous, malicious criminals are still in charge of this country. Somehow this is tolerated. Somehow nobody is accountable for this. Luckily, this country is still a democracy. People still have a voice. People can still take action. Yes. 